Hey y'all, oh my God. This weather is so bipolar. Let me show y'all. It was just literally, um, oh, sorry, hold on. Hold on. Okay, I, I just got this new um, uh, Note 9, so I don't know how to work everything. But let me just turn it and show y'all. Look at this weather. It is like so bipolar, like what the heck? It was just like 80 and 90 a couple of days or so ago. And now it's just raining, raining, raining. I just had to run out. So I am on my way to take Devontae to take his 10 month pictures before he turned 11 months in just a couple days. I've been slacking on this blanket pill, uh, picture. I think the last one we took, he was six months, I wanna say, I think. And yeah, and the crazy part is on the flip side of it, like you can take pictures like my first Thanksgiving, first Easter, like all these first things. And so, I mean, I have pictures of him, but the blanket just wasn't, you know, in the forethought, like I thought it was going to be. So yeah, that's, that's what's with that. And then um, I'm also doing my tutorial today, which I am hoping to get done and be able to release that tomorrow for the Hennessy and um, what else I think I was gonna do. The Hennessy, the Crown Royal, and something else. Another flavor, I forget which one I have, a popcorn. But I'm doing the different flavors so that I can show um, the technique. Really, it's not, the, not different with the techniques when you do the popcorns with the liquors. It's either you're doing the caramel the caramel way because you have like a dark liquor or um or because you want to you know have a caramel taste or you do it with the i'm just calling it the candied method so anyway um i'm gonna do a couple flavors because even though you can say that it's exactly the same some people are visual learners and so they prefer to see things personally and when I do my tutorials, I'm gonna be very detailed and y'all will wanna stay tuned to the end of the tutorial because um, I'm gonna also help with cost factors. I know cost is a major thing when we are out here making things, trying to figure out how to generate revenue and how to calculate and formulate things and, and such. So, oh, I should turn right there. So, um, at the end, I'm going to go into how you can determine your price bracket. Um, what else? So yeah, I'm doing that today. I'm going to pick up the ingredients while I'm out. It's super raining, as I already showed you guys. I have a bunch of footage to edit, so I'm working on that. I'm gonna be at a pop-up shop here in my town on the 1st of June. So I'm working on the um, menu item because I wanna provide a food option as well as my treats and stuff like that. And so I have to get all that worked out, the flyers and stuff. I'm putting all my pictures of my work that I can find between these two computers. My other one is buried in the storage. So I'm just gonna go with what I have, put it in photo albums so that people can flip through and see my work. Um, you can book and stuff like that for those of you guys that are a part of my my um, style squad or the Straight Plus 8 squad, then I'm going to I mean, excuse me, that know us personally and want to go show up and, and uh, support us. Yeah, we'll be there, but I'm going to have books there so that people can just look through the books and, and book with us then. So you can book as well while we're there. You can also pre-order t-shirts and um, pre-order tutus. I will have all this stuff, like some of all this stuff on display there. Um, as much as I can with the space that I have, even though I did pay for two spaces because I was super smart, I was like, you know what, I need one for South for days. And then I was like, you know what, since I'm there, why not collect some extra coins and provide food? Y'all hear that rain beating down on my window. Like, it's, it sounds like it's two seconds away from hell in a minute. But, um... Yeah, so I got two spots, so that gives me enough space. However, I did want to set up um, a couple of those little, I'll show you guys when I go in the store, a couple of those little round tables that you um, 
you can screw the legs on. I think they're like 10 bucks at Walmart. But you screw the legs on and they're like small little circle round tables. And some people have used them for like nightstands back in the day and you probably still use them now. In fact, I'm going to take um, one of mine and turn it into the stand for my donut um, pegboard. Dang, this is coming down hard. And I so don't want to be out in this rain, but I so got things to do. Along with my logo. Okay, so I did my logo and one of the images is not transparent. If you guys know anything about transparent um, or images or clip arts and stuff, it's usually see-through, meaning that if you put it on a, on a dark background, it would, um, it would not, it wouldn't be like a white box around it. It would be completely transparent, like you'll only see just the image so that on, on my peacock feathers because that's my thing peacock feathers not only is that I love that the bird actually itself but I also wow this is loud but I also love the colors I swear this is sounding like pale almost you guys like let me see no not quite Cause it is cold. It's not like extremely cold, but it is cold. That's loud. I, my apologies. I I did not know that this was going to be the weather as I'm driving it to talk to you guys. But anyway, so I have to either sit here and get up into Photoshop and make this image transparent, or get somebody off of like Fiverr or somewhere for like. That can get this to me within 24 hours. We're gonna see if I can do it, and um, so I can get my order sheet, my receipt book, my, and that's for those who want physical receipts right there on the spot. I was gonna offer a gift certificate, so I'm gonna get some of those. Um, also, my shirts and stuff like that. I want to get my shirts made, not just for the, my team, but I'm. it's my brand, right? So I'm just going to be wearing it like regular. And then also, oh, a banner, the main whole, whole thing, so that I can go ahead and get my banner printed. And I mean, I have like, what, two weeks to get all this done? done? Really one week, because you want to have the stuff done so that you can also have plenty of time to tweak it and see if this is what you like and even do like a mock setup of how you're gonna have your stuff. So, I just have a lot on my plate. And speaking of transparent images, let's get into this word transparent, because you can check me out over on Transparency Talk, it's a podcast. Myself and two of my um, brothers have put together and um, we're talking about all kinds of things, life things, life issues. It's kind of like, um, a vlog, so to speak, with our discussions, but we also cover hot topics like what's trending and what's going on and stuff like that, so we try to keep you guys up to date with that. So yeah, you can check me out over there on um, at Transparency Talk on Instagram or um, our website. I was able to work on that. It's, you know what? It's a shame because I got that website up in like, poop, no time. Like my brain was really working, but the Styles for Days page... You know, I just don't know what direction I really want to go in and I want to keep it simple. And when you build a website, it's certain things that you want to make sure you have, and but you don't want to be too cumbersome on there. And I'll do, probably explain that in another vlog, but I'm making a tutorial on building a website for, for beginners um, or something like that, or just insight, some of the stuff that they don't tell you. Um, that I've learned along the way. So, yeah, I haven't did that. But anywho, back to the website. You can check us out over there at trans. At, excuse me, at ttalkpodcast.com. That's T is in Tom. Talk the word talk podcast.com, and that's our website. And um, yeah, so check me out over there. So, what I'm saying is, I have that on my plate. Then I also have um my business of course and the children obviously and then 
what else do I have? Are they even open? I don't know. It doesn't look like it. What time is it? Okay, they're supposed to open at 10 30. It's not quite 10 30 yet. So, anyways, um, what else do I have going on? Oh, and then um, a friend of mine, she was putting together a women's empowerment group. So, I joined in on that. So, we we're getting that together. And um, that's going to be held here in our town. And, yeah, it's really just getting a bunch of women together to see how we can be supportive of each other. And uh, just, I don't know, have a different outlook on things. You know, things are very competitive. Women are very competitive. And, yeah, we're just trying to veer away from that and be more positive support for each other. So then, so so I said I had the Transparency Talk, the podcast. I have my South for Days. Then I have the vlogging this, what I'm doing now. And then I have my... Oh, I just said it. Women Empowerment. And then, also, I have an event page that I run with two other ladies. And it's a place where we can all get together, share trade secrets, um, even uh, images, files. Like, all this stuff is unlocked, open, free to edit and all this stuff so that we can help each other. So this is how I know that women empowerment can work if you have the right women together because we're giving each other like like information that can help further you in your quest to do whatever it is you're doing. Now, some people take that as a threat and they won't share it. You know, they're like, oh, if you give this information to somebody, they're going to run with it. Well, I really don't care because guess what? What is slotted for me is going to be mine. It don't matter if I told you my exact solution. One, you might not do it exact. Two, people going to still want me to do things because of my reputation and because they probably worked with me before or have family that's referred them, etc. And again, I repeat, whatever is meant for you will be for you. It don't matter what you share with people. So, I again, this, this group... I think our group is up to like 110 members. And so it's 110 of us, which is a, a great amount of women that's just sharing information. And uh, so, yeah, I have that group. And then I have my other my other page, The War Room, which I haven't really been in, in too heavily involved in. A good friend of mine, Kelly, she's really been running the page and making sure that everybody's being spiritually fed. And I'm going to be honest one of the reasons why I have not been super active on there is because I have, and I'm not going to blame busyness because, oh, sorry about that, y'all. I'm not going to blame busyness on that because um, you can't um, put God on a, on a time schedule, I guess I'll say it like that because it's literally just like that. Like, you know, you can't do that. So I, it's not that, that I've been too busy, but... I haven't been where I know that I should be spiritually and I think that I would look like a fool to get up on there and be shouting out spiritual scriptures and all that kind of stuff because yes, although I do know it and I do know that I fall short and I know that you know, the, Lord, the, the Lord knows my heart. Still, people are heavily judgmental. You can be, I can be over here giving somebody a message that I don't even know who I'm reaching, but just like the Lord put it on my heart to share this information with somebody. So I can be giving this this, this message to someone to help them, help them in whatever it is that they need to help in. Again, I'm being instructed to do this, right? So I'm doing that, but then I'm over here doing my vlog, which you'll see us catting off and just, you know, being silly and stuff. And then... You might also see me go up on my Facebook or something and see that when I'm heavily into my feelings about something, I'm being quite vocal. Well, people see that as you being a, um, not a backslider, but yeah, like a hypocrite. Like, okay, I'm being transparent, hence the podcast, but I'm being transparent and being me. Like, I am not without fault and I still am very much of this world. I try and struggle every day not to be like most people do, but it's still hard. Like I have emotions. I'm still a human, but that don't mean that because I am still a part of this world and may dibble and dabble, you know, in the worldly things, knowing they wrong. Cause let me just be clear. Cause I'll ridicule my own self. I don't need nobody to ridicule me. I'll ridicule my own self. Um, after, after all is said and done, I'm like, then you know, damn well better. Like really, really. So anyways, 
what I'm saying about that is I have done those things and and people i don't want to i don't know why people why do people do that maybe y'all can comment below why do people think that because you act a certain way or you carry your life a certain way but yet you know the word of god so you're gonna spread it like they they feel like um like you're being a hypocrite like i would prefer to to be completely open and honest and transparent than to be lying sitting up in these these church pulpits or even in these um bible studies and in different women's group men's group i'd rather not do any of that stuff or sitting on the board and all these things knowing damn well that i am still a part of this world and i'll be making flaws and mistakes i i'm not gonna do it i'm not i'm not just that's just me personally but I'm not, and I don't know why people are super judgmental like the, that cussing pastor. Now, I ain't saying that he should be doing all that cussing stuff because it ain't for me to judge. I'm just saying, at least we know what he about. Like, he ain't somewhere, he's right about that. He ain't somewhere lying and being fraud and faking and, and, and just trying to um sell the word, sell the word, sell the word, hence, you know, offerings and you know, people riding around with uh, all these expensive cars and things that no, it didn't come from your work income. But you know, anyway, at least he is saying that, yes, I do be cussing, I be doing all this stuff and everything like that. But at the same time, I, I, I'm, I'm keeping real with y'all. This is me. This is just me. So then you get to know him for who he is. And I keep looking at the picture place to see if they open it. If that's why I'm looking around. Plus, I'm looking at Subway right here, like. Do I want to get a sandwich? Like, it sounds so healthy. I don't know. But anyway, so that's why I haven't been heavy on that page because I want my life to kind of marry, so to speak, so that when I am giving these words of wisdom and dropping these jewels and gems in our prayer group, excuse me, that they're not, that I'm not being heavily judged or ridiculed because I'm somewhere else, like, ranting about how I can't stand when people do blah, blah, blah. But then somebody will be like, hey, you were just on there talking about, on your prayer group talking about, you know, you shouldn't pass judgment and, and you shouldn't be mean, but here you are going in about this and the third. Yeah, so I ain't got that all the way out of my system. I've I've tapered down a whole lot. Those of y'all who are on my um social medias, y'all may notice like a lot of my stuff has flipped from the irate individual, the quick to get mad and all that stuff it's a switch from all that to being more um like inspirational motivational like I, i'll come up with like little quotes or things like that and i'll post that so i am getting there and i am getting better but i'm just not all the way there and i don't want to come across hypocritical but again that's me so with that being said I have a lot going on, just a lot, and my apologies for these vlogs not being more consistent, and look at, look at my nails, look at my nails, I got this little leopard print, I call this a leopard print, y'all, and um, no, I don't do fake nails, these are my nails, I just get the, um, that, what you call that, that shellac gel put up on there, so that um, they don't break as easily, even though, as you guys can see, did it focus? I don't know. It's trying to focus on me. But anyways, what, this one is like broke to the meat. So I have to go get these on. But again, I'm, not, I'm always busy and I don't really even be paying that much attention to my nails because my hands stay in gloves. You know, I'm always in gloves. I'm a germaphobe. So I use gloves to, to, do, to do just about everything especially raw meat i don't yeah I, mm, I actually be trying to get my kids to do that with gloves on though but i just i don't really eat meat like that no more y'all like it ain't about nothing i watch it's just i don't know so i also i'm gonna be doing a vlog because i've been doing if and if for you guys don't know it's intermittent fasting i've been doing that for a little bit because i'm trying to take control of my health i have um blood issues which i'll do a vlog about separately about my blood clotting situation and how they don't know where it's come where it come from it's not um her, her hereditary what am i saying it's not inherited because they've already checked all those genes but um 
So I on both sides of my family, I'm or let me not say both sides because I'm not 100 percent sure on on my father's side, but it does run rampant in the African American community. But high blood pressure is definitely there. My grandmother had um and my uncle. I don't know if he's borderline diabetic still or not. But anyway, let's just say there are certain medical conditions that I'm predispositioned to be a part of if I live a certain lifestyle. Now, some things are completely avoidable. It's in our genetic makeup. However, if you have the ability to take control and not allow yourself to succumb to it, then you don't have to be. Like, yeah, you can say, oh, well, everybody in my family get diabetes. Okay, well, look how everybody eating. Look how everybody's treating themselves and things like that. So that does play a, a huge factor. Plus stress. I've realized that stress, it increases my heart rate. It, um... It, it gets my mind in a space where I can't really think clearly. I'm already very OCD-ish, so I, I, my life is highly compartmentalized, like so organized that, yes, I'm a note taker. And I, my kids joke about this, and they probably ain't lying. I will probably have a note about what to do if something happens to me and where to go find another notebook that's going to give these instructions. And there's going to be another notebook. And it's just going to be notebooks pointing you to notebooks and more notebooks. Like, I just got notebooks. And some of them I ain't even written in because I just collect notebooks because they're so cute. So, anyways. Um, so, I'm, you know, I've been doing this to take control of my life and um, my health and stuff like that. And um, I'm really, I'm not shocked because I'm not, I haven't really been a terrible eater. Let's say my kids, they, um... They love vegetables, especially like asparagus and broccoli and Brussels sprouts and stuff. Some of the most unusual ones that kids are like, heck no. Like my kids love that stuff. So we're not completely terrible eaters. And no, I don't cook a lot of fried stuff. And I don't saturate things in a lot of gravy and greases and oils. In fact, my body physically gets sick when I have too much um, oil intake. Like I can go and get a piece of fried chicken from somewhere and I can tell all right off the back biting into it if it if it has soaked so much oil in it it just physically makes me you know that so I, I we don't really do that too much and I've completely totally about just about cut beef out we had just finished kick, cooking up the last beef that we had in the house so I wasn't gonna buy that no more maybe once or twice a month simply because my iron i be so anemic and i don't need y'all to say oh it's other things you can do to get iron and all that you are very right but it is some things that you can only get from meat period ain't no other forms of it it, it just ain't and i'm not gonna put hella supplements and, and and other things in my body i'm just not i need my body to function like the way it should so and doing this IF, I've reset myself and even reset my metabolism. I've noticed that when I get up in the morning, although I can, I get really sleepy and tired at night, probably because I should be. See, I'm used to being up and damn near having insomnia at night. But now that I've been doing this and putting my, I guess, resetting my body makeup and metabolism, I have a bunch of energy like I'm up, up as you guys can see and it's not you know late in the day it's only like 10 o'clock and usually i'll drop these kids off i'll try to lay down for a minute before i get into any orders or anything like that like or laundry like i'm usually dead tired but i have a lot more energy and i have actually lost uh i want to say 35 or 40 pounds excuse me and I've kept it off and I have been doing that for the last month I guess so that's really good it's really good and I noticed it a lot and my face is very slim and what else my clothes don't really fit too different but my kids say like you've lost a lot of weight and I'm like so y'all just let me walk around here being uberly like walrusly walrusly and y'all ain't saying nothing y'all ain't cool Y'all ain't cool. But anyway, so I've lost that and been able to maintain that. And I do the 16-8 fast. And I'll do a separate vlog again about that and my my this, this journey so far because I haven't finished it. And no, I haven't done no dry fasting, no this, no that. And 
I have completely cut out soda. I still drink my sweet teas and stuff, and I sometimes get an extra pump of sweetener, depending on how I feel. Um, I don't really do candy too much. I was a heavy candy snacker. I don't really do that too much either. So I've cut out some things, but yeah, during my eating window, I just kind of eat whatever I want, which is good because I don't feel like I'm restricted, which means that this is a lifestyle change. Like, I know that I can do this. I'm not heavily restricting myself, even though there are some rules are i guess their rules to ifing to how about this to maximize your results is certain things that you should do well i ain't all the way to the maximization i'm just doing it and it's working for me the way that i'm doing it so i'm going to keep doing it this way and then slowly transition into a different a different uh, i guess type of eating where i will probably completely pull sweets and stuff out you know, and no, I don't have cheat days because I don't believe you should cheat yourself. You just, you should just stick to it. Like, cheat for what? Like, who's building themselves up for six days just to get to the seven day? Like, ooh, now I can have this, this big slice of cake and all this stuff. Now I'm get, I'm gonna go and get a bucket of fried chicken. That was like all them six days worth of hard work going down the drain. Like, it's supposed to be a lifestyle change, not just a temporary situation. So yeah. Anyway, that's what's been going on with me. I'm going to do a lot of editing. I'm going to try to pump these vlogs out. Definitely try to get this tutorial out this evening um, or, or tomorrow, at least tomorrow, for the popcorn. And what else? I might go ahead and slide in the caramel, the caramel pretzel rods because they're super easy. Like, people make these things seem like they are, like, the hardest thing upon earth to do. But I'm going to give y'all all the juice. So, yeah, again... I'm going to do all that stuff today, try to get all my business stuff done so I can be ready for this this um, pop-up shop. I'm here at the picture studio. It did stop raining. Devontae sleeps, so he's probably going to be highly annoyed when I wake him up to take his 10-month uh, pictures before he turned 11 months in a few days. Don't judge me. And, um, yeah, so I'll tap in and out today, and I'll probably play this video first. And then what will subsequently come after this is all the ones I've been, I'm going to work on throughout this time, previous to today. Yeah, that's how I'm going to do that. So let me get in here and I will tap back in with y'all a little bit later. Bye. And here he goes, 10 month photo shoot. My baby, Devontae. Oh, and the twins are graduating preschool. <laughs>